you a quick recap for today, which was Tuesday, August 25th. So the first thing that we did was a learning check for the do now. So this is our first one that we've done. You can think of it kind of like a quiz to make sure you did the reading or the notes or the videos that you were supposed to do for the pre-class assignment. So uh, last night's pre-class assignment, you should have watched a video about feedback loops and about biogeochemical cycles and then also taken notes. So the learning check was here. You had five minutes to complete this in class. If you were not in class, please reach out to me so that you can take this um, learning check form. Cool. Um, the next thing that we did was we spent a lot of time in groups today. So the first thing that I did was I put you in these expert groups and you all did um, like you became an expert on one cycle. So one group focused on the carbon cycle, another on the nitrogen, phosphorus, and hydrologic. So we had four big groups. And you were supposed to come up with these things, uh, the steps and interactions for each. So what's part of the carbon cycle? What are the steps? What are the like vocab words associated with it? Under the diagram column, you're supposed to find a picture of the carbon cycle from Google, put it in as your diagram. For sources and sinks, you're supposed to talk about um, what the sources of carbon are. So where does carbon get released and input into the carbon cycle? And then a sink is like, where is carbon stored? What are its main reservoirs? Like, where does carbon kind of stay in for, for a while? So those are sources versus sinks. Um, and then the last column is on human interferences. So how do humans interfere with the cycle? What do we do? How are we impacting it? So you did this for about 15 minutes in your expert groups. You became an expert on one cycle, and then I rearranged the groups. I put you into smaller groups, um, one person from each cycle, and then your job was to teach um, your smaller group about the cycle that you just became an expert on. So we should have gotten through maybe two of the cycles today, and tomorrow we're going to finish the rest. So um, as long as you have your own expert group done, and then maybe one other cycle that you got from your um, other groups, you do not have to do any other things for this in terms of homework for today, because we're going to continue in class. Cool. Um, I also introduced a homework assignment that is not due until um, technically Monday, basically. So you have a full week to work on this. It is a nitrogen cycle flip grid. So the nitrogen cycle is often the most confusing one, and it has a lot of parts to it. So I wanted all of you guys to practice saying the steps of the nitrogen cycle, explaining it in your own words um, while looking at a diagram. So you're going to head over here to our flip grids and you'll find that there is a topic for the nitrogen cycle. Go ahead and upload your video sometime this week to practice giving an explanation about the nitrogen cycle. Cool. That's where all of our stuff is. Um, don't forget tonight, please double check the pre-class work assignments. Um, tonight, I believe you have one video to watch right here on primary productivity. So make sure you take notes on that and we'll, we will talk about that tomorrow in addition to the other stuff. Cool. Bye.